Hello guys, I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome day. I'm having an awesome day. So I'm working on a couple projects and I wanted to bring y'all aboard. So one, I took a jacket and with the jacket that I got, give me one second. So you can go thrift store hauling find you some jackets or if you got some jackets at home okay so what i did the jacket was longer i cut the jacket in half so made it like a crop shirt okay then i took the bottom of the jacket and i made it as sleeves so when you put it on they, they kind of stand out like that and then i took my hats in a way my hats in a way sit on over here pretty baby sit right there pretty baby and here I had some denim, a denim skirt. But I wind up taking the trim from around the skirt. Because I also took, oh, it had sleeves. I took the sleeves off. And I took a little bit of the pocket here, pocket there. And um, the jacket had got too small. So I added a piece down the back to make me be able to fit the jacket. Because I want to just snap right here. Okay? So... I broke a whole lot of needles. That's why I do not with denim. Oh my gosh. I broke a whole lot of needles. So guys, um, I think with those parts, now this stuff is sewn, but the problem is I was being lazy and didn't want to change the needle. So you know what I did? I wind up leaving a smaller needles in it. and i tell you all the time if you're gonna sew denim and all that use thicker needles so i done broke every needle so i got a <laughs> both of my needles in the uh surgers broke and the needle in the sewing machine is broke so now what i'm doing these are going to be the pants that i'm gonna that i'm gonna wear with this so these is the pants that i'm doing that's gonna go with this crop jacket okay guys these are pants I'm going to do with this. So what I'm going to wind up doing, so I'm cutting these squares out and I and I did some rips effect. So it's going to take some time to cut the squares out. And then down the legs, I don't want them to be long pants. Like I'm going to take them and I'm going to roosh them up, you know, put the elastic down the leg. So it's going to take some time to cut and then I got to get all the, the sewing machine stuff done. So um, this jacket needs to go on the washing machine, but... If I hot glue this, it might come off. So I might just do some stitches to make this stay. And then I'll come back and like secure it permanently to the jacket. Because I'm not for sure. It's Gorilla Glue. I read it. But I don't know about you want to do that right away and put it right in the washer. Because I want it to fray naturally. So I'm using these little scissors because they got these new jeans out. It got inspired. I got some jeans from Fashion Over, and they had these square boxes in it. So, guys, just cut your square boxes to how you want them and get you some small scissors and just take some time because you're going to be here a while and just cut it out. So, that's what I'm working on, guys. And it is prom season, so everybody is getting prepared for prom, but I, I got sick, guys. Mm, I got sick. My tonsils was all swollen, so when I went, to the doctor i went to the hospital because i had fever chills everything they told me to go to urgent care and i'm like shit urgent care was downtown I'm, I'm not driving downtown i'm gonna go to the hospital well i can go to the hospital get in there and everything so i might have gone to the hospital so they said i had scrap and i know i can't say that i can't say scrimp screech scrape so don't worry i can't say none of those words so yeah but they um they give you an option that you could take the pills for 10 days or that give you the penicillin shot. So I say, you know what? Hell, I want to be getting well sooner because I couldn't even freaking swallow, guys. That's why y'all didn't see me. So I wind up taking these shots. My voice is still a little, blah, 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 blah. but I was like a little disappointed because I wanted seafood, but as my everything is waking back up, my taste buds was not in my lymph nodes, guys. I couldn't even get on camera. They still kind of swollen. You see my lymph nodes. Um, I couldn't even taste my food so i'm like you know what me and my sister was supposed to go out to dinner so i wind up not going and um yeah guys i got a problem y'all know i always 
be talking with a problem. And y'all tell me what y'all think. Okay. So my sister, a while back, she had, she was over my house. She stayed over. And um, she wound up leaving a bracelet here. And she called me at a later date. Say, hey, sis, could you bring a bracelet? And I'm like, okay. So I grabbed the bracelet. And I put the bracelet in my purse. And, you know, and everything. So by the time I get the bracelet to her, the bracelet is broke. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. And I'm like... Oh, I was like, it's, you know, one of them bracelets that open it. And I was shocked that, uh, it, and not trying to be funny, that it was a gold bracelet. I thought it was just some little costume jewelry. She was like, no, this is um, 14K. I said, oh, okay. So I was like, oh, okay, just probably need a little clamp or something. And she was like, yeah, so it had been in a shop forever, right? So I'm like, okay. So she's like, yeah, the lady said that I buy jewelry from her all the time. So she might, well, uh, you know, give it to me for free, you know, to fix it. Because the little clamp that make the bracelet do this had came out. That that make it do this. The clamp. And, and the bracelet was... So I'm like, oh, okay. So never at one point ever did she say, Hey, when you transported my bracelet to me, I need you to pay for it. So she calls me today. And she go, hey, I'm here with the lady. And the lady is telling me that the bracelet is going to be 160 and this, that, and that. And I was like, 160? Really? I was like, how much did you pay for that thing? And she was like, 800. I'm like, oh my God, my sister do not know shit about gold. That shit was hollow as hell. That lady made an ass out of you. And I'm like, you gave her 800 dollars for that shit? And I'm talking, is you know, a lot of times like people buy them little bitty braces for their little kids. The bracelet was that small in stature, but it just clips around, but it's just kind of made in a heart. Just I would not at all thought that it was gold. But anyway, I'm like, oh, okay. And she was like, yeah, the lady. So I guess she got the lady in the background as a co-signer. So she's like, yeah, so they want um 160 And I was like, oh, and I was getting ready to go into the post. I said, oh, I'll call you back. And she's like, oh, okay. So when I got out of the post office, I called her back. And she said, well, I wasn't calling a chit-chat with you or nothing like that. And this is her tone. Um, the bracelet is ready. And she ready for me to pay for it. So I didn't want, I want, I want on phone chit-chatting. I was just letting you know what it costs. So to see if you, you, you finna take care of that or what. And I'm like, excuse me? I was like, for one, I did not break your bracelet intentionally. If that bracelet was that valuable, $800, you should have said, handle that motherfucker with care. Matter of fact, you should have came and got the motherfucker yourself. And I said that, but the way you doing it, me and you never even had a discussion. You don't know what I got planned. But now you put me on the spot like I'm just finna go, here you go, with one $160. And it was like, and I was like, um, right now? No. But I got you, though. I give you something on it. But I ain't finna do it this second. But I would give you something on it. So I kind of felt like she was like, she should knighted me. Like she was sugar or some goddamn body, you know. But, you know, me and my sister had this weird shaky relationship where she's always been a bully she's always been this type of bully and i guarantee if it had been anybody else in the family she wouldn't have went to nobody else with that bullshit the only one she pulled this phoniness and do all this weird shit with is me anybody else that bracelet would have been broke she the ate that chart and i said and them motherfuckers ripping you the fuck off for that flimsy ass bracelet just putting a hook in the motherfucker it's $160. God, I, I wish I had a picture of that goddamn bracelet to, to fucking show y'all. It's just, it's just horribly little. And you let them give you $800. And when you touch it, it don't even feel like gold. It feel like a fucking something, a toy. If she'd have left here any longer, I probably would have thought it was, you know, I probably let my granddaughter take it because it looked like it was a toy, costume jewelry. But I talked to my son about it. And I was telling him, asking him, and he was like, no. He said, then I said, but you know what it is? I said, I got to show her because she's a bully. I said, it's her delivery. That ain't how you talk to nobody. You supposed to have been like, sis, I'm going to get the bracelet out or whatever. You know, it was in your it was in your care when it got broke and when you brought it to me. So I was just wondering if you would be willing to help me pay for it because it got broke. But don't should ignite me. You get in front of these people. And like you finna bully me to fucking pay. I'm not gonna pay like that. So it's like here we go again. We always separate and break up. And you don't be because I can't. 
be around no phony fake shit. If you fuck with me, we cool. You fuck with me. I can't have nobody with this in and out shit with me. Like, it's always like that with her. And it's like, damn, here we go again. Like, just her delivery. Oh, well, I'm just saying. I'm just letting you know what needs to be done. But sound like you want to chit chat. And I'm trying to get something done. I'm like, oh, okay. But the, the whole way she went about that was wrong. And I felt like if she wanted me to pay for it, she should have asked me, hey, I need you to help pay for that. If that, if that bracelet was of that value, it's sat here for over a month. You should have said, hey, that is a very valuable bracelet. Can you, well, she don't really have a company like that, but can you, when you bring it, can you make sure you put it on your arm or something that's valuable? But it's flimsy. It's, it's going to break again. You can, you can hit the car, though. That motherfucker going to break. And they're going to get out of some more money. I'm like, shit, I don't know who you buying your gold from. But they show getting you that hollow ass gold. Shit, and when it, when it broke, it had the little wire thing. It ain't, it ain't even all solid. But I don't know, guys. It just bothered me that she did me like that. And I felt like it was a Suge Knight move. And another one of my friends was like, I don't think that was a cost of the brace to be fixed. I believe that they gave her a cost. Because as she talking to me on the phone, she asked her, how much is that? How much is that? And the lady said, that's 2000 That's 1000 That's 700 That's That one is, uh, that one, 3000 4000 That one, yes. That one right there, yes. That one, this one right here, 2700 when I say you on there buying that flimsy ass shit and paying that type of money, girl, you need to stop. <laughs> Whatever. But so my friend was like, no, nah, she was in there buying some more. They fucked up gold and added it to that bill. And then telling you that to the lady probably told, I give I give you free. You buy this $150, I, I give you free. Fee, free. No charge for you. Fee, fee. Okay? Get your sister to pay. She broke it. Make her pay for it. Yeah, she shouldn't do you like that. She's not a good sister. You make her pay. And then she called with them motherfuckers on the phone. And like, they was finna sugar night me. And I was finna be a goddamn fool. So I called my boo. I said, baby, this is what happened. This, that, and that. And do you think I should pay? And he was like, no, I don't. And it's, and, and I agree with you. It's her delivery. But me, I'm gonna pay. But it's also going to make me go into staying a fuck away again because every time with me and her is always this bullshit. And I'm, I'm already a loner, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm getting emotional. You know, my mother was here. My mother died. So my other sister is here, but I'm not close like that with them. So it's like, it's always something. So it's just, you know, I don't know. It's just like, there it go again. We can't have a moment where things is good. And, and. I just think it was the delivery of how she presented it to me. And instead of asking me to help, she kind of put me on the spot and kind of like aggressively demanded it out of me. I didn't like that. And I don't, I don't, I don't do threats very well. So, but what I agree in my mind, I ain't telling her, I told her I'm gonna give her something. So what I, what I feel that's feasible and it ain't my problem because they should have told her before they fixed that fucking bracelet. It's going to cost you $160 and she could have went somewhere else and let them put a clamp. Hey, I could have put a bobby pin on it. You don't just fix somebody's shit and get them that cost. You don't know if they want to pay that. Most jury people will let you know before your shit go out. This is the cost of getting this bracelet fixed. And then she's supposed to sit down with me and say, well, since my bracelet got broke and your care... I need you to help cover some of the costs. So what I'm going to do just being nice and I don't feel like I should have to do, I'm going to give her $70. And I'm going to give it to her when I feel like giving it to her. I'm going to um, sell it to her. And then when she be that good morning sister shit, good morning beautiful, good morning gorgeous, yeah, right. So... We back at that shit again. So that's just um that's just how things is gonna go. So um yeah, I'm sorry guys, but yeah, that shit it, it be hurting my feelings though. I get I get sick of going through that shit. Like if you deal with me, you deal with me. If you don't, you don't. But I guarantee you, if one of them daughter in laws would have broke that fucking bracelet, or anybody else, my baby brother, my older sister, she wouldn't have said shit. 
she'd have ate that cost up but seriously i feel like they should have talked to her before they fixed that bracelet and told her what the cost was and then you go from there but we back at this situation again guys so yes but this is the stuff that i'm working on guys and i've been kind of like under the weather a little bit and y'all know i like to vent thank y'all for listening to me but yeah I, I be emotional sometimes so i was telling my babe i'm like you know what we ain't got to do it in a rush because i one thing i'm not gonna do i don't want to do like you have a great relationship but when you move in with somebody that's when it's like oh my gosh this shit is intoxicating and i'm a loner he's a loner and we both like our space so it's like probably moving together right now ain't gonna work but like i told him that i wouldn't want to move with you unless we're madly in love with each other that we want each other in the same space we want each other in the same space we wake up you know and and that's the point that we ready for but i want you to be ready i ain't never want you in a position where we just doing it to doing it because life is not miserable for me here you know i'm just saying you know my son got his own life but you know you just want to be close to your partner so but I, i'm not gonna i wouldn't make a, a hasty decision and do that we'll definitely make it on both our terms and hey if it don't happen it's okay you can love somebody y'all ain't gotta live together yeah so yeah but i I'm, i was emotional so I, he probably like oh here she go but yeah but like i, and I had to text him back I'm like no i ain't asking <laughs> for the world to change no i'm not asking nothing like that it it'll happen due time if it's meant to be it'll be if it's not it won't you know and sometimes oh god he'll see this video but oh here she go but you i mean like i really truly want this to work but at the same time if a situation don't work you got to be able to pick up the pieces accept it and you have to be able to go in your own direction but if i'm not madly in love if you're not madly in love i would never come and waste your time and um take up your space like that just to do it i wouldn't i wouldn't do that to you baby so you guys okay have a good day and we we're gonna see how this turn out so yeah i'm just making squares and the best way to cut these squares guys get some little scissors get some little scissors and you can make your squares you can make your squares little scissors yeah so this little outfit is gonna be coming up it's gonna be different guys all right guys see you soon toodles Thanks for listening to me too, guys. Thanks so much for being my friends, for coming back to me, guys, and talking to me, communicate. I really appreciate it. Y'all are an outlet for me. Thanks. Bye.